Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the World Geographic Regions graph in the infographics template. If we go to our project panel and select folder number 12, the World Geographic Regions folder, scroll that down and double click to open the World Geographic Regions composition. So the first thing we want to do is go to our chart controls layer and we're going to open up our effects controls panel where we have all of our sliders and color pickers and we even have a rotation angle controllers for each of our data sets. And the first thing we should do is change our maximum value. So if you look at the numbers for the data that you have to work with, let's look at the biggest number that you have. Let's say it's 500. Let's change our maximum value in the slider control to 500. And as you can see, some of these circles uh, got much bigger, especially the one over Asia. And that's because its data set, if you can see, is 825, and which is exceeding our maximum value, which is 500. So if we were to change that value by going to our charts controls layer, hit U on our keyboard to bring up our keyframes, and double click the keyframe that's directly underneath. Um, that circle is data 06, or circle 06. And it's this keyframe right here. Double click that. And let's say we change this value to the maximum value, so 500. And now the circle is uh, more proportional to what our maximum value is. So if it's, for example, you can see uh, the one over Europe is 475. So that one is just slightly smaller than the one um, that is 500 for Asia. So depending on what number you're entering for your data, in relation to the maximum value will determine how big these circles are. And if your data set exceeds the maximum value, you'll need to, um, of course, correct that, um, or else the circle will be a little bit out of place and will be much, much bigger than the rest. So let's go back to our charts controls layer, go to the effects control panel, and let's take a look at our second controller, which is a color picker. And this will change the color for our data text and our line. So you can change the colors for each of these with one click. Let's change that back to white. And you can even change our background map color with one click. There we go. And we also have our slider controls that control our data. But again, we're going to enter that on these keyframes in the timeline. So if you double click on number one, let's change that to 350. And as you can see, for our first circle, which is over North America, the size of the circle has been updated and so has our number. And back to our effects controls panel. We also have color controls for each circle. So if you wanted all of these to be a different color, you can do that here. And each circle has its own color control. And let's move on to our circle rotation angle control. Now this is where you want to change the angle of the line and its corresponding text areas. And this is not animated. This is um, purely to um, help you with the orientation or the screen composition. So if you had two text areas that were overlapping each other or you just wanted to change where this was, um, the text areas rotate in relation to the angle of this line. And you can also, if we want to zoom in here, select the number and move all of our text areas if you wanted them just in a different. So they're not sitting right on top of that line. And there we go. Now to change any of the text areas, you can just double click on any of the text layers. It will become highlighted, making it editable. and you can change the font and the colors in the character panel. And back to the timeline, if we look at layer number six, um, it's titled million text. And if you change this text area, it will change the text for all of the other million text areas. So for example, we just said, if we just typed people, then all of our other data sets are changed to people instead of millions. So you only have to change one text area to change all of them. Mm -hmm. 